Peace. What's up, y'all? It's Anti Simp back with a new video. So for a while now, I've been thinking that I wanted to redo some of my videos from my old channel, mostly because some of the content is out of date, and I kind of wanted to remake it with more modern, more modern um, updates, or if you will, or modernize it, as I like to say. So I'm going to do one of my favorite videos, one of my personal favorite videos, because I feel like the video showed how thorough I was. I was able to take something from the, um, I guess, something that a pep had said, and then I broke it down to a square, so that a square could understand it. And so I was able to, you know, listen to his videos, you know, listen to this video, and think to myself, you know... I could probably make something for us, you know. I could break something down, you know, to a square level. Because my my followers, you know, they aren't they aren't pimps, you know. I know y'all not pimping. <laughs> I think you know maybe they might they might uh, follow in a distance because I have you know had some peas follow my page from a distance and they might consider what I say watered down. But this is this is my area. So the video is basically going to be 10 Stop Simping Commandments. Some people ask me, well, how do you stop simping? You know, how, you know, how does it, how do you stop simping? How do you avoid becoming a simp? And I feel like this video and my book as well, if you want to check it out, you know, the link to the book is in the description as well as the name. If, you know, worst case scenario, the, the, um, the link doesn't work. But, you know, the link is in the description. You can check out the description for all my social media handles. If you like this video, like and press that uh, bell button so you can get notifications. And let's get this shit underway. Number one. The first commandment is to get yourself right. You know, your money, your, your, your relationship with God your past relationships with women, whatever it is, you need to fix it. Number two, never take what a bride says seriously. Judge her on her actions and her actions alone. Broads will say anything when they get mad. They'll lie and tell you it's the truth every time. Number three, stay up on game. Always read. Chop it up with other cats that, you know, network. This one uh, is, 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 is probably one of my personal favorites because um, it's an example of what I've been doing over the last 10 years. And it's helped me out a lot. It's just networking with the right people. As I said in previous videos, you know, I always knew about the behavior and mannerisms out there, but I just didn't, I couldn't put my finger on what to identify it as. So networking with certain brothers had, you know, introduced me to the game, you know. And then I then created the, I had, you know, then I would network and ended up, you know, learning more about, the, you know, these, these phrases, the, the terminology. And I read some books. Those books pushed me in the direction of more people who understood where I was coming from and what I was thinking, and then I created the Stop Simple Movement. And then I learned the origin of everything. And then, like, when I say, you know, networking, like, simping, simping is, like, is a small thing, you know, but it can, it can, it can grow to be a big thing. It can be something that, you know, can hurt you in the long run. If you don't address it. So what I like about this one, number three, is staying up on game. This is constantly educating yourself so that you don't fall into into basic pit, pitfalls. You know, avoiding situations that pretty much put you in some sucker shit. I'm outside. It's like. Almost, it was 8 degrees.
almost 80 degrees earlier. It was like that was like around seven o'clock, but it's dark right now, and it's feeling cool out here. The wind is blowing, but it's like a cool breeze, you know. I'm feeling it out here. Anyway, back to it. So you know, stay up on game. You know, chop it up with cats from the streets, the barber shop from time to time. Travel and read more. If you don't read, you know, go with audio. I got a homeboy, a homeboy who's probably, you know, um, I chop it up the most with out of anybody, and I've learned the most from from anybody. He was there when I broke my first broad. He helped me with that situation. And, you know, he's been a big, I feel like he's like a brother to me. So, you know, me networking with him and me being cool with him, you know, has introduced me to other people. Other people that has helped me grow as a man. And I'm not afraid to say that. I'm not ashamed to say that type of shit. Because who's, who's scared of developing? Who's scared of becoming more than, than they are? So, uh, but he doesn't like to read. That's my point about him. He doesn't like to read. Um, but what he does, what he does do, is he listens to audio, which is kind of similar to the same thing. You know, listen to audio books or whatever, which is, is just it's the same thing for him. And it might be the same for others. But um, if you don't like to like sit around reading books or whatever, he likes to um, read um, while he's working out. Uh, I got another homeboy who likes like checking out videos all day, long ass videos. He does it, you know, probably to house chores and shit. But you know, learn something new and constantly upgrade yourself. Number four, be a man. Stand on your own two feet. Stand on your principles. Always have a set of rules you live by. A code nobody can make you break. Handle your own shit. Win, lose, or draw. No tag team partners. I always believe standing on your own. And a, a true example is that sometimes I might make a post or a video and people will disagree with me. But if I believe in the shit that I'm saying, regardless, if I believe in the shit that I'm saying with all my heart, then I'm going to stand on it. And I'm usually right. If I'm wrong, I'll delete it. You know, I'll, you know, I won't even, you know, I'll delete it or shit. Sometimes I might, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. You know, I might court it. You know, I might court if I'm wrong. You know, you try to make a joke about it. You know, a while ago I had put up this post about this chick who pretty much stole this, this condom out of a trash can and used it to get pregnant. And she sued somebody for child support. Somebody pointed out that it was it was a, a, a false. And like it was, a, um, what's the word? Well, it basically was, a, it was fake news. So I didn't trip about it. I left it up. I left it up there with no caption because, you know, I want to know what other, everybody else thinks. I use I do that from time to time. I, I try to gain, I try to, you know, get an idea of what everybody else thinks. It helps me out. You know, in more ways than one, it helps me out to see where everybody's head is at if they're following me. So I court the attention sometimes. I don't think I was wrong to leave it up like that, but, you know, because it wasn't no, no proof or whatever the case is, he felt like I was wrong, but I kept it up there. And he wanted to get slick with me, so I banned him from the page because I just don't tolerate slick shit. Don't don't talk slick to me, man. Like that's what I don't like about the internet. It's like people who don't who wouldn't normally say this type of shit to your face, just you know, they get slick with you on the internet. And it's like if you disagree with me, say what you disagree with me, but you're gonna be respectful towards me when you disagree with me. Because I don't come at you sideways, so don't come at me sideways. Alright. Number five, you're the prize. Stop putting bitches on pedestal. That's like self-explanatory. Stop looking at bras like, and that's what I mean when I in the um in a in a post that I had made last year, and I said that you know all the whining guys do about females who don't pick them over other guys. I said that that make y'all sound like that makes y'all sound like simps. Cause you're the prize. If a bitch don't choose you, so what, man? You're putting so much on this one broad. What makes her so goddamn special that she didn't choose you? 
I, yeah, I deal with rejection. Many other guys deal with rejection. If you feel like you're not doing anything wrong, and this is, you know, if you follow the number one uh, commandment, where is, you know, get yourself right. You know, get yourself right, your mind, your money, your relationship with God, you know, um, past relationships, you know, whatever you need to get your mind right, that's what you need to do. If you've been following that, then you know that you're not doing anything wrong. You wouldn't even be tripping about, you know, how females are out here. It's not a big deal. Yeah, they're going to date, you know, degenerates. But do you want to be a guy that's messing with a chick that's fucking with a degenerate? Number six, never deal with a broad who doesn't give you cooperation. We're talking 100%. We're not talking about half-assed. We don't want, we're not dealing with it at 25%. We're not dealing with it at 50%. We're not dealing with it at 75%. We want 100% cooperation. If you have to keep checking this bitch, it's time to charge her to the game. Hell, my homeboy had taught me how to be merciless. Listen, there ain't no three-strike rules when it comes to us. If I tell you a second time, you got to bounce. And I've done that before. You guys have seen my um, relationships fall out. You've heard, you've actually been to my blog or my website, and you've seen what happens to bras that get out of pocket with me. On my old channel, it was a drunk female, you know, who tried to um, tried to say that I uh, threatened to kill her. And I'm like, as a broad, as threat, that if you feel like I'm threatening to kill you, why are you talking about flying out to come see me, to come fuck me? What kind of underwear you want to wear? I might have to um, download that video and repost it up as well so y'all can hear it. I'll link it to this one if I, if, if I remember. Another video I might link to this or to my, bro, uh, to my blog or, whatever, or my website. My website is in the description. But it was another female that got po out of pocket with me. And she used a cat that was following my page to try to get at me. She tried to try to hurt me. She tried to air out my personal business. But it backfired. Because I had receipts. So if you got to, you know, you know, you don't got to, you know, like, keep checking abroad. You don't have to hit them. If you got to hit her, you know, that's ground for immediate dismissal. That's, you know, pretty much, that's it. That's it. You know, if you gotta hit, if you gotta hit that bitch, you gotta just charge it to the game. All right, number seven, keep it 100 with females. Be honest with what you want. She'll reveal her true motives if you are thorough enough. You give her enough rope, and she'll show either she's down or she's not. Sometimes females follow me, and then you know I had to learn not to pressure them out of well, for answers for certain things that I want to know. You know, why are you following me? I don't normally get this much, you know, feminine attention. I don't normally get this much attention from females. So what is your agenda? And eventually shit will play out. Number eight, don't throw salt on another man's game. Now, I'm going to tell you all right now, there ain't no such thing as dirty macking. This, this is something I wanted to revise in the uh, commandments. There ain't no such thing as dirty macking. I don't care what anybody tells you. The game is not a pleasant place. It was never a, a, a positive place in the first place. Or seen in a positive light. It can be, but not from where it originated from. You would notice a pattern when you talk about pimps and hoes and, you know, the game. You'll notice that it's surrounded by a lot of dark, you know, energy. So it was never a there was never any, any such thing as a as a as dirty mac and the game has always been dark it has always been a grimy place. However, throwing salt on another man's game to get abroad is still corny. It's still some cornball shit. It is too many bitches to be fighting over to be fighting over one bribe. If she did it to him, she'll do it to you. It questions the content of your character. I remember when I used to be in these uh, groups or whatever, these Facebook groups. Guys in there, would all, um, all, despite the fact that, I mean, some of you follow my page know what I'm talking about because you've been in these groups with me. But despite the fact that, 
you know, I, I would, uh, a lot of females in the groups would, would like make subliminal posts about me. They were in my inbox. They were in my inbox trying to fuck with me. One of the bras that was trying to fuck with me was in the, one of the videos I just I just mentioned in one of the previous uh, commandments. You know, a lot of them talk mad shit up there, but they will be in your inbox and they will be trying to fuck with you. Your energy is just different than what they're used to. All these guys is just saying thirsty shit to them, sending them dick pics, but your energy is different. The stuff you're just saying is different. They ain't never seen it before. And it'll always be some, you know, whack-ass dudes trying to salt your game. But it'll never work. The only thing that's going to happen is the bitch is going to question the content of his character. Moving on. Number nine, stack your paper. Invest. Make your assets flourish. Put away some shit and play with some shit to save. There's nothing wrong with you living within your means. Everybody else is rocking the iPhone 11. You can be rocking the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 is probably less than what? $300 to own? You own a car that's, you know, 10 years old or five years old, not five years old, but like five years ago, you know, you know what I mean? It's not a, you know, it's a 2015, you know, good condition car and you can own it with cash instead of like paying a car note or, you know, paying a, uh, a ridiculous lease every month. So it's okay to be that guy. It's okay to just stack your money. There's a meme going around that says that if I have 2000 no, not 2000 20 grand in my savings account and my checking account says I have $320, then motherfucker, all I got, all I got in my, all I got on me is 320 That's it. And I don't have no issues living like that. Because it don't fucking matter. Everybody else, most of this fucking people, most of the people in this country are broke. More than 51% of the people in this country are broke as shit. Trying to impress other people. I've had, I've owned the deeds to three cars, not paid, you know, a car note every month. The only thing I've paid every month is the insurance. And occasionally I got to pay for the maintenance on them. But that's about it. I'm not paying any type of lease. I'm not leasing any rims or renting any rims or renting no fucking car. Finally, number 10. Your woman is a reflection of you. So if that bitch is, is raggedy, so are you. You are responsible for your woman, so make sure they are up to par. And if she, a, you know, a dusty-ass broad, why are you messing with a dusty-ass broad? That just makes you look bad. You know, you out here, you know, talking mad shit about how this broad is easy and she's slutty because she slept with you really fast, but she's a reflection of you. If she's a slut, then you're a dude that likes fucking sluts. Y'all are equals when y'all lay down, and equals when y'all get up. So you want to make sure that the bitches that you fucking with are a reflection of you. Make sure when they rep you in public that they rep you in public. And that's pretty much it, man. I know this was probably longer than my previous video. My previous video was about 10 minutes. But this one, like I said, man, I had to um, make the video and modernize, modernize it. There are just some things in my previous video that just isn't as accurate as it was, you know, years ago. Anyway, this is your boy, Anti Simp. I had fun recording this video. Um, it's good. It feels good out here nice and breezy not chilly at all i'll see y'all in the next video uh like again again if you like this video you know like it give it a thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel to, to, show, ah, to support your boy i will try to release content every at least one video every week if i can that's what i'm gonna try to do and that's it that's all i gotta say man i don't really got nothing else i'll catch y'all in the next video peace